Hello friends, today I am going to discuss some pros and cons of RealM and Roam for the Android data persistence. So, so some basic differences are, are first one is So Roam was introduced at Google in 2007 as a part of Android architecture company. Realm, uh, it, it was also launched in, for Android in May 2000, so almost four years ago. Okay, so second one is, Roam is just a layer, layer over the native SQLite, means it is an abstract, abstract, abstraction of SQLite. As such, there is a large amount of customizable queries. Queries are validated at compile times. Room also required the relation be created using foreign key and like uh, so. It is a very complicated object graph can be bit of pain and implement. On the other hand, the real um, if you have on the other hand requires no sql knowledge you don't have to write any sql system object relation in crypto simple and implement very easily realm is a much large library than room because it include means uh, it is third party library so it's uh, means it is a very large so three to four mb of your apk size will be in increased on the other hand it is just a layer, top layer of SQLite, so it's a few dozen of KB increase in your APK. Okay, now fifth one is, uh, so Room is officially supported by Google, so it is, it should remain well supported, uh, well likely have a good community, community, community support. On the other hand, real four year ago it is uh, uh, it fixed lot of bugs there is a additional advantage is uh, it will support both ios and android so developing for both the platform with virtually the same data persistence layer can allow for similar app architecture and the last one is both library supports reactive queries allowing you to subscribe update update your ui views okay. using room you can use another architecture component live data uh, it will be updated your activity fragments and etc on the other hand uh, uh, in real m you also saw uh, in real m this is uh, real m it will be uh, it, it, it list queries result can also directly subscribe to the order to monitor the changes okay thanks in next video i will give some examples